Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat, mga minamahal ko kapatid sa pananampalataya. Kala na lang po sa Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church. Good evening to all of you. And uh, good evening also to uh, our brethren from Maranatha International Baptist Church of Malaguntuan. And uh, our brethren from Maranatha Baptist Church, McAllen, Texas, USA, Pastor Don Miller, and our brethren there. My pastor, Pastor Ramiro Adona from Anaheim, California, USA. Good evening sa inyo, Pastor. And of course, all my friends from Facebook, and all my families that right now is watching here in uh, uh, FB Live for our live streaming. Ngayon po ay dadako po tayo sa ating prayer meeting. And I'd like to encourage everyone to uh, join with us tonight. And uh, please send your message, your prayer request. And after this, we will pray together in silent prayer. All our requests, all our uh, 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 supplications and whatever requests that we have in our lives. In our personal uh, prayers, ay ating pong ipapalangin po ngayon. And of course, mamaya po also, we will, our, uh, we will worship in the Lord as we sing in a uh, hymnal songs. And we will study the Word of God tonight. And good morning to McAllen, Texas, USA, and Anaheim, California, USA. And also to all our friends, dyan po sa Cyprus, dyan po sa Canada, sa Australia, sa New Zealand, at uh, sa Japan, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And uh, so USA as well, wherever you are and whatever you do, just watching us, join us tonight for our prayer meeting service ngayong pong gabing ito, April 15, 2020, tonight at 7.30 in the evening. So sa lahat po ng aking mga kapatidan from Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church, I'm so glad that you are here right now watching and joining us tonight para sa ating prayer meeting. And uh, please send your prayer request, and uh, we will pray that. And of course, our general prayers, of course, we could let us continue to pray for uh, all our brethren na, na kasama, hindi natin kasama, hindi na nakaka-attend ang ating gawain, please continue to pray for them, our church, our service, of course, our nation, please continue to pray for our nations, our leaders, President Rodrigo, Rodrigo Duterte, and the uh, uh, the, the members of uh, the government uh, authorities mula doon sa barangay uh, up to the President of the, United, uh, the Republic of the State of the uh, Republic of the Philippines na mabigyan sila ng wisdom ng Panginoon at sila ay talaga namang makakaroon ng solusyon for our frontliners mula doon sa mga health workers from the doctors going down to to the nurses and the staff of the hospital that the Lord God may able to continue to keep them safe and sound at uh, ilayin sila sa anumang kapahamakan and of course, our men in uniforms no? from uh, Philippine National Police up to uh, AAP, Armed Forces of the Philippines lahat po sila, let us continue to pray for them lahat ng mga frontliners that as well, also as well all the volunteers, especially to the uh, LGUs, all the barangays lahat ng barangay kano, lahat ng mga volunteers, at uh, lahat ng mga taong tumutulog para uh, masiwata o talaga naman makontrol natin yung movement. At uh, sana po ay ipag-pray din po natin yung uh, panawagan ng ating gobyerno na stay at home or uh, not to escalate the numbers of uh, affected and uh, under investigations and monitorings ay uh, hindi na talaga siya mag-escalate at hindi na uh, talaga gumami. And of course, pag-pray din po natin yung mga tao na naapektuhan ng coronavirus, yung mga infected, yung mga PUIs, yung PUMs, as well the family who are now in the agony stage because their loved ones are uh, died with that kind of uh, uh, sakit po yung coronavirus. Please pray, pray for them that they may uh, find comfort from the Lord. God and of course they may be able to accept the fact that uh, the families are are infected and uh, I mean, die of that kind of uh, uh, illness. So please pray for them. And of course, not only our nations but as well, you mga ibang bansa just like USA that right now are very sila uh, pinagmumuna in terms of numbers of infected the coronavirus, let's continue to pray for your president, President Trump, and all the states in the U.S., especially in New York, na talaga naman nandun yung epicenter ng, ng, uh, ng uh, coronavirus. But of course, 
yung mga iba't ibang lugar sa Amerika, pag-pray po natin. And it's referred for Pastor Sarah Miller and our brethren po for Maranatha Baptist Church. Of course, our pastor, Pastor Ramiro Adona, right now, he's in uh, uh, Anaheim, California, USA. Nahingatan siya ng Panginoon. Please pray for him. And of course, please pray for uh, other nations like Italy, uh, Israel. Please continue to pray to all the nations in Asia, Europe, and USA na talaga naman sila ay uh, ma-overcome, ma matapos na itong pandemic na ito, itong virus na ito na truly affected all nations worldwide yung kanilang uh, yung kanilang effect na yun na talaga namang naapektuhan na ang marami. And of course, please uh, keep at your prayer for our dear brethren, yung ating kapatid ko si Mary Ann Diaz, yung kanyang anak na si Nathan, uh, uh, baby Nate already uh, uh, nag-undergo na ng first operation for his heart. Now he's in, a, in the ICU. You know? Please pray for him that this, this little baby boy uh, be able to overcome the pain, the, the situation na kanya nangyayari. And even to the family, na be able to find the comfort from the family. You know? Mag-pray po natin si Mary Ann. And of course, please continue to pray for one another. Pray for the church that we be able to uh, overcome this situation itong to, kasakit na ito ang uh, coronavirus talaga matapos na yung 30 na na April 30 dinan sa Panginoon and of course na pray natin yung ating bansa ng Pilipinas of course tadapon na po tayo sa prayer request from individual uh, Sister Ems she's asking for a prayer na kalayaan ng Filipino at ng Pilipinas sa mga sumusunod number one sa COVID-19 sa Diyos Diyosan, idolatry, sa mga politiko, pera, at katanyagan, pagkaroon ng karunungan ng ating presidente, wisdom or our president, at mga kataas-taasan na nagbumula sa Diyos, protection sa mga frontliners, doctors, nurses, vendors, kapulisan, mga public workers that expose araw-araw, everyday, in the public places, dahil sila yung nagbibigay ng tulong. And of course, magkaroon ng pagkakaisa, bawat Pilipino, sa pananalangin, unity in prayer, unity in prayer, at pagtalikod sa mga gawain na di maganda at magbalik loob sa Panginoon. Of course, she's also asking for the prayers for all the TMBC night leaders and workers and family and friends, loved ones, prayer partner, and of course, declaring Psalms 91. And good evening to all and God bless us all. Thank you so much, Sister Ems. We will include, let us include that in our prayer, silence prayer. Silent prayer. Brother Sherwin Inario Bagnes is asking for a prayer request Ito yung prayer request nila ng buong family. Number one, safety and health ng family. Wherever they are and wherever they go, they are asking for a prayer safety and protection for the health. And of course, for his tita, Tita Beng, na nasa Saudi Arabia, si Mama, Mama Edna, and Mika from Mandaluyong. Please continue to pray for them. Inari family, Bagnus family, Castro family, and... Uh, and uh, in our family, of course, she's, she's also asking for a prayer for the ministry that she uh, that he engaged, no, in the uh, ministry, in uh, the music ministry, the, the youth ministry. Let's continue to pray for him. And of course, she is asking also a prayer for his pastors, no, all the, his pastor and uh, his family, my pastor. Thank you so much, my brother Shirley, for for asking that kind of prayer for for me and for my family. Of course, some church members. Your baby, the sister Mary Ann, nagumaling na po in Jesus' name. We will claim that. Straight relationship, strong relationship to God. And of course, yung kanya examining, examination, is upcoming examination that he may be able to pass. No? So just, let's continue to pray for Brother Sherwin na kanyang review ay talaga namang uh, magtuloy-tuloy. Of course, he's asking for a uh, thanksgiving. Kapasalamat niya sa kanyang pamilya sa Diyos dahil sa tinagal-tagal ng pandemic na to, still we are blessed healthy and continue and the provision of God for the, for his family. Thank you so much, Brother Sherwin, for your prayer request. Thank you so much. Marites Balmosena. Uh, right, Balmosena? Siyati na ati Marites. Sister Marites, ang kanyang prayer request ay matapos na yung problema ng buong mundo to stop, stop the problem of this world, which is the pandemic. No, matapos na po ito itong situation na ito. Of course, sabi niya rito, huwag nang magkalag ang virus at maging save na po tayong lahat sa anumang kapahamakan. Okay, this is all Tagalog for all friends there in uh, 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 wherever you are, especially in in US, uh, please bear with us when I speak Tagalog because all the requests right now here is Tagalog, but I will translate in, in English. So,
So sabi ka noon, that all of us become saved to all the dangers o lalo po sa mga sakit, especially the illness of COVID-19. God is good. Just trust, sabi niya, just trust uh, to the Lord and that all, everything back to normal. Of course, back to normal, but not to normal, kung uh, enjoy the scene, but back to normal with faith, with faith and with serving the Lord, just realize that at maging normal na pang lahat, thank you so much sister Marites Malmuzen of course, Cherish Lynn, Cherish Lynn Dalit, she's asking a prayer request sabi niya, una po, first, the operation ng baby ni sister Mary Ann yes, but that's our friend, the first prayer list, no, yung baby Nathan, and of course, tuloy-tuloy na pagaling at maging maayos to siya at yung sasakyan din na Pastor Ray thank you, she's She's asking for a prayer for our personal car. Na sana maging maayos na. Thank you so much, Sister Charles Lynn. And sa family ng mama niya, nabigyan pa siya ng mahabang buhay kay mama niya that celebrating her birthday last day. I think last day. Yung mama ni Charles Lynn. Happy birthday po, tita. And of course, bigyan pa siya ng mahabang buhay. Lagi siya ingatan ni Lord. Sa financial, financial needs, she's asking, she's asking a prayer for the financial need. And uh, for the health, salvation of family niya, and spiritual strength. Spiritual strength, thank you so much for that kind of prayer request. And heal our land. Stop COVID-19, salvation of our President Duterte, and of all frontliners, I mean, safety no, of our President, and all the frontliner doctors, nurses, and PUM and PUIs, and the COVID-19 infected. And of course, he's asking for a prayer for the PMBC family, MIBC family, in Margot, the ministry of the church, kay Pastor Adona and family, Pastor Ray and family, Pastor Marvin and family, na makabalik na po sana sa normal ang lahat, and keep prayer for araw-araw, read the Bible. And she's also asking, saying, thank you po kay Lord, thank God, kasi di niya pa rin ako pinababayaan, kahit na malayo ako sa family ko, kahit na may pandemic, I'm so blessed, still, healthy and safe. Yun lang po, thanks po kay God. Bless everyone. Keep safe po tayong lahat. Malampasan po natin ang crisis na ito and pray po lagi. Thank you so much, sister. We will include that in prayer. Sister sister Anna Alibanto, Dicano, she's asking a prayer request. Sabi niya, peace in our land, in our nation, uh, healness, complete healing for baby Nathan, being sister Mary Ann, si Angelo, Of course, si Angela, please pray for Angela Bimbim for his healing. Anong sakit ni Bimbim? We'll pray for that. And sagot po, sa iba, ano, ang sugat niya sa ibabaw ng ilong. Oh, what's, uh, let's, let's pray for Bimbim. At sa aking asawa, in, his, in her wife, in her husband, sa Saudi Arabia, na makauwi ng maayos. At ipanalangin din po natin ang ating pastors. Thank you so much, Sister Anna, for that prayer. Oh, Bimbim, oh, let's pray for Angelo. Meron siyang... Uh, Sugat sa ilong. We will pray for that, Sister Anna. Thank you so much, Sister Anna. Of course, Sister Ruela del Rosario from Jaron uh, Trias Cavite, she's asking for a prayer na peace of mind at healing healing my pain in head, yung uh, headache daw, and safety for our country. Thank you so much, Sister Ruela. Okay, we'll pray for Angelo. And of course, Mother Sherwin, nag-live na po. Opo, we're live na. Kaninang MP po. Sa akin po, Pastor Ray Rimoga. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, uh, Tatay Anen is asking for a prayer na request na sana matapos na itong COVID-19 at sana ilayo at anumang kapahamakan ng ating pamilya. Ang kanyang request po ay heal our land and to all nations for COVID-19. Knowledge and wisdom for President Duterte and Pastor and wife. Knowledge and wisdom and my situation now in Saudi Arabia. Okay, we will pray for that. We will pray for that. And of course, sabi niya pati kay Bimbim po ay pag-pray na po. Thank you so much. Yung mga wala pang prayer request, we will include to your prayers. But anyway, please continue to pray for our Pastor Adona. That right now, she is in a, is a, in Anaheim, California. In safety, protection, that he may able to come back in the Philippines as early as he can. And of course, pray for all the pastors, all the Christians, all the churches. Pastor Reggie Montoni, Pastor Sunny, Sunny Guerrero, Pastor Eric Papa, and the rest of the pastors who are not preaching tonight and praying for uh, the land, our nations, and other people. So please continue to pray also our family, that the member of the family in the Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church, we will continue to pray for all your needs, for all your needs. Just ask the Lord, just ask the Lord and pray for the Lord. Okay, Pastor Darren Miller, we will continue to pray for Pastor Darren Miller and, uh, and, the, and the rest of his family, 
And of course, all the members of Maranatha Baptist Church, McAllen, Texas, USA, please continue to pray. Oh, all our friends, all our, 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 our nations, please continue to pray. And even other nations, please continue to pray for this situation that we experience tonight, today. In times like this, no, we need to pray to one another that we may be able to overcome this. Okay, so, uh, yung mga general prayers mo natin, hindi na po, nabagitan natin. We will come to the Lord in prayer. So, tayo po lahat ay mag-pray po ng silent prayer ng kahimik po. Well, pray, join with me, join in the church, and I'd like to thank the Lord for uh, uh, Sister Shay and Sister uh, Joy and Sister Sophie and Brother uh, Celso Marquez is right now here joining me tonight for our prayer meeting. And please continue to pray for one another. And uh, I encourage you to come to the Lord and believe and have faith. Have faith in the Lord. And na sana matapos na po ito. Sana matapos na po talaga itong ating na naranasan po COVID-19. Let us come to the Lord in prayer, in the silent prayer for a few minutes. Let us close our eyes and our hands. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, to your throne. Father God, we thank you so much for all the things that you have done in our lives. Thank you, Father God, for the great blessings that despite of this situation that we experience today, because of the virus that already gives us, Lord God, a, a fear and anxiety because we don't know and how we will overcome this. But Father, thank you so much because even though we cannot be able to see our enemies, but still we have a big God who puts our trust. We are God in throne. We are able to control everything. We thank you, Father God, for all the blessings. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you have done in our lives. Even though we are in the crisis situation, but still, Father God, you shows us how good and great our God, a true living God. We 
that we have in our lives. Father God, forgive us for all the sins that we committed against thee, Father. I know, Lord God, that we are not deserved nor worthy, Lord God, of all the blessings that we have right now. But we are so much grateful and thankful, Lord God, because in spite of being inconsistent of our present life, still you are faithful and consistent to bless us and keep us safe and sound. That's why, Father God, tonight we are praying and leave up to you all our praises, all our worship for you alone, Father God. And tonight, Father God, you heard all our requests, all our prayers, all our supplications. I know, Lord God, that you hear that. And we believe, Father God, that you are not dead. Even blind, to see all our needs. Short your hands. Neither short, your, your hands are short. But you are God in control. You are the best God. You are only God that is able to help us in times of trouble. You are the one who is able to calm our storms. That's why, Father God, thank you so much. Tonight, Father God, we are continuing to pray all our prayer requests. Lahat na nabanggit, nasabi ng aming mabig Panginoon. Father God, I know, I know, Lord God, na narinig mo ito, Panginoon. Especially, Father God, to those brethren who are now suffering some illnesses. Baby Nathan, the baby of Mary and Diaz, right now, Lord God, it is an ICU. In recovering stage because he he undergo he, he already done with an operation for his heart lord at a very young age of this baby i know lord god in jesus name you will never leave him nor forsake him and you will take care of him father god in jesus name healing after healing miracle after miracles lord god and i know lord god that you will extend your healing arms your healing hands upon this baby boy you are a great physician and even, Father God, all our brethren who are now suffering from some, Ill some illnesses. Sister Steph, she's not feeling well for almost a week. I know, Lord God, that you will heal her. Brother Bim Bim Angelo has a uh, bruises, Lord God, in his nose. In Jesus' name, please heal him, Father. All our brethren, Lord God, are suffering right now. I didn't even name them one by one. But, Lord, in Jesus' name, I know you will... Extend your healing hand upon them and you will heal them, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. Father God, even our nations, please heal us, Father God. Heal our land, heal our nation. Please give wisdom our president, all the frontliners, all the leaders of our nations. From Barangay going to the, to the president of the, of the Philippines, Lord God. Give them wisdom that they may be able to think and have a, a, a solution for this problem that we have. And I pray, Father God, that they may be able to depend you. They ask wisdom from you. And seek your first, Lord God. And also, Father God, we are praying for all the frontliners. All the frontliners, we are praying for them. From the health workers going down to the UN in uniforms, to the barangay, and all the volunteers, Lord God. All the private sectors who help our, our people, our, our, your people here in the Philippines. We are praying, Father God, for them that you may keep them safe and sound, Lord Jesus. And also, Father God, we also pray for all the backliners. These are the pastors who are praying for them. All the Christians, all the people who are now kneeling down their, their knees and praying, keep on praying and praying and praying, Lord God. Even though we are not able to come outside, but we are here, Father God, praying continually for them. That they may be able to overcome. That we may be able to overcome this problem in our nations. Not only in this Philippines, Lord, but as well in other nations. We are praying for all the leaders of other nations. All the people from other nations. All the people who are affected, Lord God, of coronavirus. All the PUFs, PUIs, and all infected. We pray for them. We pray for them, Father God. That this pandemic issue, that this pandemic problem in this world may, may stop already and already stop in Jesus' name. Lord, help us. Help us, Lord God. Help us, Father God, that we are able this, Lord God. It's good to help all the churches, all the Christians, Lord God. All the pastors. And Lord, Father God, I pray, Lord, with the family who are experienced in agony. You, 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 you suck it, you pay for the loss of their family, their loved ones because of this pandemic issue, pandemic virus. Lord, we pray for them that you may comfort them. 
Give them, Lord God, say to yourself, give them joy. They may be able to find joy and comfort from you. Lord, we know, Father God, that we cannot able this alone by our own strength nor our knowledge. But with your help, Father God, we are humbly bow before you, Father God. I know we cannot do these things without you. We are humbly bow before you, Father God, and ask your forgiveness, ask your strength, ask your provision, Father God. We know, Lord God, that we cannot do anything, but with you we can do all things, Father God. Father God, thank you so much because you are the one who strengthened us. You are the one who strengthened us. We continue to pray for Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church Mission. All our brethren, right now, Father God, they are listening, watching in the live streaming. Wherever they are, whatever they do, in Jesus' name, meet them, Father God, in the most special way. Meet them, Father God, their needs. I know, Lord God, some of our brethren, Lord God, suffering of their, yung kanilang kakulangan, Panginoon. But I know, Lord God, you are Jehovah Jireh, our great provider. Some of us, then, some of them, Lord God, experiencing some problem, Lord God, with their finances. I know, Lord God, that you are the one who provides for them. Not only for the member of the Bernabella Faith Baptist Church of Swan in Maragundon International Baptist Church, Maranatha International Baptist Church of Maragundon. And all the churches in this, in this world, even in this Philippines, Lord God, all the Christian, all the churches, all the Filipinos, Lord God, who are suffering and experiencing lackness, Lord God, and longing for needs, Lord God, na kusan, kulang na kulang, Panginoon. But I pray, Father God, makasumpong ang bawat isa na pag-asa mo na sa inyo. We thank you, Father God, for your goodness and kindness upon our lives. I know, Lord God, you are faithful. You are a great provider. You are Jehovah Rapha, our great healer. And you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords that are able to provide everything. Not only in this land of Philippines, but as well to other countries. We pray, Father God, for our Pastor Adona in Anaheim, California, USA. We pray for them, Father, for Him, Father God, as well, the relatives na kanyang pinag-iistay ang din, Panginoon. Ingatan mo siya, Panginoon, provide ang kanyang pangangailangan, Lord Jesus, that He may able to come back here in the Philippines in a good condition, without any problems, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And also, Father God, I pray for all the local pastors in the Philippines, Pastor Sunny, Pastor Reggie, Pastor Eric, and the rest of the pastors that I know. I pray for them and leave up to you, Father God, that you may help them, Father God, as well you help. Please continue to pray also, Father God, all the missionaries in foreign land. I know, Lord God, even they're in their deputation, or maybe they are now in the in the in the in the place that they are going to 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 na kanila paglilingkuran pang inang para sa yon. Help them, Father God, that they may be able to overcome and sustain them, Father God, for all their needs, for all their needs. Help them, Lord Jesus. Use them, Father God, mightily. This is not about kung asinong magaday, but it is about the work of God in our lives. We pray for them. I also pray, Father God, for Pastor Dara Miller and Maranatha Baptist Church, Magalan, USA. Keep them safe and sound, Lord God. All the churches in America, all the churches in every nation, let your people be in the same ground under to your geographical will. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We thank you, Father God, for your kindness, for your faithfulness. Lord, I pray for all our relatives and friends in a world, around the world, our family in Japan, in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, in USA, in Cyprus, in the Kingdom of Saudi of Arabia, in Italy, in Canada, in Australia, in South Korea, and to the other most place, Father God, we pray that you may keep them safe and sound. Help them, Father God. Keep them safe and sound every day in times like this. That the pandemic was truly gives us a fear and anxiety. But there is no big problem compared to our big God. You are God in control. That's why you are God in control. Father God, we thank you and bless our service tonight. 
Let your Holy Spirit be moved in our midst tonight. And speak us once again, Father God, as well, our brethren who's watching right now in the live stream. Bless us, Father God, and please, wag mo kami lalagpasan, Panginoon. Thank you so much for your generosity, for your love, and kindness upon us. Continue to bless us as we singing, as we learning, and studying your words tonight. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good evening everyone. Good evening Marcus family. Good evening po sa aming mahal na tatay, Tatay Celso. At para tayo na sa sinihan, ano? And Nanay Soli, and Sister Joy, and Sister Shay is also here. And please continue for one another. And of course, good evening sa lahat po na nanonood. Sa lahat ng mga nasa bahay-bahay, thank you so much for watching us, for joining us tonight. Ang Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church, brethren, I know you are there. And uh, nandyan, marami na kayo nandyan, I think, marami na sila. Amen, 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 amen. And uh, of course, good evening to all Maranada International Baptist Church, brethren. Pastor Adona in Anaheim, California, USA. Sister Annette, Madonna and the rest of the family, and MABC family. And of course, Maranatha Baptist Church of uh, McAllen, Texas, USA, the leadership under the leadership of Pastor Dar Miller. Good evening to you, and good morning to you there, and good morning, good evening here. And all the brethren of Maranatha Baptist Church, good evening to all of you. We love you, and uh, we're so much thankful for for the Lord that you are right now here and joining with us. And of course, uh, Pastor Sonny Guerrero from Gethsemane Baptist Church of uh, Batangas. And of course, Reggie Monterey, Pastor Reggie from Biglatan, Novus Bible Baptist Church, and of course, Pastor Eric Papa, Alvin Cleoke, Pastor Alvin Cleoke, and the rest of the pastors, of course, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. And I know, you are now excited to sing for the Lord. Amen? You are now excited. That's why, let us go to the Lord in singing. Let us sing a song, Tis so sweet, trust, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Okay, church, join with me tonight as we sing to the Lord. It is so sweet to trust in the Lord. Uh, kung nandiyan kayo sa bahay ngayon, nakikita nyo ngayon sa, sa TV, sa projector, sa monitor, as we sing the song, please join with us. Let, let us all stand up. Nakakayo, nakaupo kayo ngayon dyan. Ayun po tayong lahat as we sing the song. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Come on, let us sing.
Jesus, Jesus, how trust Him. Another song, let us sing. Turn upon your eyes upon turn your eyes upon Jesus. Okay, another song for the Lord. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Amen. i 
you so much, Sister Shea. And the Bible says, no one can back them out from the hand of God. Your salvation and my salvation, no one, no one, no one. No one can back them out from the hand of God. So that is the promise of God. That's why we are once saved, is always saved. And because of the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, He died on the cross, buried after three days He rose again. Just to prove, listen to this, just to prove that you and I have a good God, have a great God, we have a living, living, listen to this, living God in our lives. He proved in this world that He overcome even death, even in this world, even the scenes, He overcome this for you and for me in Christ alone. That's why no guilt in life, no fear in death, sa kapangyarihan ng Panginoon na meron sa atin. And, and, listen to this, no power of hell or no scheme of man can ever pluck me, or can ever pluck you and me from the hands of God until the come, until the day the Lord comes again. And that is Christ alone. Thank you so much, Sister She, for that wonderful message of songs for the special number. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat, and I thank the Lord for, for His goodness upon our lives, no? Despite of of uh, the situation that we have these days, but still we are not hindered to continue our service in the Lord. Amen. We are not hindered. No, we are not hindered. And no one can hinder us. No one. No one. Listen to this. No one can hinder us from serving the Lord. In serving the Lord, no one can hinder us. Even though, even though we are in different places, you are from from Cavite, from uh, I mean from Quezon City, from Manila. Even you are in different places in Cavite, Jarantrias, Hi, Jarantrias, all the brethren Jarantrias, Rashatia, and San Luma, uh, uh, San Luma Christian Church. Thank you for watching us tonight. My sister there in Martin, uh Jarantrias, and of course all our brethren somewhere in Naik. In Maragundon, Tansa, Jarlatrias, Bacoor, Noveleta, wherever you are, then Castor, Quezon City, Montilupa, so on and so forth, especially our family relatives there in Montilupa, mga Navarra family, uh, De La Rosa family, and of course, Bakir family, uh, I'd like to greet you, good evening, and God bless, of course, even though you are in Cyprus, Canada, Australia, Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Hong Kong, so on and so forth, Taiwan, wherever you are, and even in, you are in USA, especially our brethren there in McAllen, Texas, USA, you are watching right now. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I know, I know we have a 13 hours difference from your place, but still, you, you wake up in the morning, early in the morning, and this is your devotion today. And I thank God for your pastor, Pastor Darren Miller, for encouraging you and do some watching up top. Uh, 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 watch party. I mean, he's the one who have a watch party for you to be able to watch me and join us tonight for our prayer meeting. I thank God for your time. And of course, all our brethren from Batangas, Brother Sonny Guerrero, thank you so much. And the brethren of Gethsemane Baptist Church, thank you so much. And tonight, we are now able to study the Word of God. I thank God, I thank God for the liberty, for the freedom here in the Philippines. For studying His words, for studying His words, and to proclaim His kingdom, and proclaim His goodness in our lives, despite of, despite of the problems that we are in, encountering today in our lives. I know, I know, nagihirap, nagihirap na tayong lahat. I know that, nagihirap na tayong lahat because uh, hindi natin na enjoy yung mga gusto natin enjoy, yung morning. No, you going outside and have a uh, a uh, talking talking to friends, have a, have a social life. But I thank God because there are good things that are going on in home quarantine, house quarantine. We were able to have a good fellowship with our families. experiment You know, my mother-in-law, she's a good uh, chef. She's able to cook kinataan tonight. Dinataan, bilo bilo. Wow, it's a good, good, good food tonight. We have a good food tonight. 
di na taang bilo-bilo. But merong twist na konti. May twist ng konti yung kanyang uh, spices na dinaloy niya doon. But we are so excited to eat that after this meeting. So, uh, I thank God for my mother-in-law, for Mom, Nani Soli, for uh, providing us a food tonight. Di na taang bilo-bilo with kind of uh, twist. <laughs> Thank you for that, Nani Soli. And of course, all my brethren there, my, my brothers and sisters in Lancaster, USA, the Bavis family, the Rosario family, and the Victoria family, and even my sister in Japan, Sister Lani Murata, and Suzette from Taiwan, and uh, Neil, and uh, John Ray in, in, in Hong Kong. And of course, all my brethren in Jordan. Jordan, I greet you. Good evening, and thank you for watching tonight. Okay, let's go to our main thing. And let us main thing the main thing. So, what is the main thing? Main thing is to study the word of God. Main thing is to proclaim the promise, the strength, and the things that we able to get from the promise from the word of God tonight. Okay, let us open our Bible in Psalms chapter thirty-seven. Psalms thirty-seven. Verses 1 to 9. Verses 1 to 9. I thank God for for this message, this, this Bible, these scriptures that I read a while ago. It's all about the trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Psalms 37. If you have your Bible, please open your Bible in Psalms 37, verses 1 to 9. This is about the promise of God to King David. This is the, 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 the music, the Psalms of King David. King David. So... Uh, this is the encouragement, not only for King David, but also for all of us. Okay, Psalms 37, verses 1 to 9, and the Bible says in verse 1, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Verse 2, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green head, herb, green herb. Verse 3, trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Verse 4, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Verse 5 says, commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring forth it to pass. Verse 6, And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Verse 8, Cease from anger, cease from anger, and forsake wrath, Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Verse 9. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. I would like to thank God for this message, for these scriptures. Trusting in the Lord is easy to say by our mouth, but put into our action. Sometimes we are failed. That's why tonight, let these scriptures, let this prayer, let these songs, or the hymns that King David stated, that he put his trust in the Lord with all the, his heart. And let us focus. Let us focus on verse 5. Na ating pong pag-aaralan po ngayon. Let us focus on verse 5. Ang sabi ng verse 5, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. The title of our message tonight is, God's way, listen to this, God's way is best. I know you have your own way. My own way but I guarantee to you and assure to you that the way of God is best compared to our own way. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Father God in heaven, we thank you. I know, Lord God, that you are God in control. I know, Lord God, that you are in the midst of us tonight. 
Help us, Father God. Impress us, Father God, whatever you will, whatever you, your lessons, whatever your message that you want to impart with us tonight, let us be focused to your words alone. Not to the preachers, not to the one who speak behind of this, in this TV, but let us focus to your words, to your very message, Father God. That we need to commit our ways unto you and trust to you, Father God, with all our hearts. And we know, Father God, that you have very good lessons that you want to impart for us tonight. Lord, thank you so much. Let your will be done in our lives tonight. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God's way is best. The Bible says, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. I know, listen to this, I know, lahat po tayo ay may kanya-kanyang kapamaraanan sa ating buhay. Ako, when I remember when I was a school student, I am very much confident to myself because I know, I know personally myself that I am able to overcome all the situation because it came from a poor family. That's why I am ready to go. I am ready to, to, to go into the places na alam ko na hindi man... I mean, sa iba mahirap, but for me, I know, in my own little way, and my own knowledge, I am not I'm able to overcome that. I know my, 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 my stand, I know my position, I know myself. I'm very much confident. And lahat ng bagay na yun ay natutunan ko because of my experience. Ang nasa nagtrabaho ako, akala ko magaling na ako, akala ko mausay na ako. In my own way, dahil I am a friendly person, I am an industrious person, I know everything, I am strong, everything. I know. But you know, minsan dumating sa punto ng buhay ko na yung mga bagay na alam ko ay hindi pala sapat for me to be able to overcome the problems, the trials or testing in my life. Ang doon ay dumating sa punto ko na talagang disappointed ako. Ang doon sa punto na kung saan gusto ko na mag-give up. And even thinking of na gusto na rin magpakamatay. Why? Because of disappointment. That's why when I found God and accept Him as the Lord and Savior of my life and to become a Christian, I realized that the way of God is best compared to my own way. You know, mayroon ang joke dito sa Pilipinas, if you sing that song my way, you are in the position na pwede kang maaksidente. Meron dito, pag inantay yung my way, talagang nagkakapatahay ang pag, isang binabaril because of the, 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 the voices, hindi maganda, because that music, that kind of music, ay napakaganda po, yung my way. Yung kata ng, and now my end is sweet, I saw my face, the final curtain. Pag dumating na doon sa chorus, yung pinakamataas na pitch na, kapag hindi mo nang gawain, sigurado, baril ka lang, kapag nandun ko sa mga video okay yan, you know, nagkaroon ng mga gano'ng mga situation dito. But you know, simula na nakilala ko ang Panginoon, at tinagap ko siya bilang Diyos sa tagapagyas ng buhay ko, I realize that the way of God, compared to my own way, is the best. Sometimes, kahit na kilala ko na ang Panginoon, minsan nakakalimutan ko to acknowledge God's way. Minsan na-overwhelm ko kapag pinupuri ka, yung may commendation, yung may mga congratulatories, uh, na kinakongratulate ka because you you able to hit your target. Minsan lumalaki ang ulo, ah, sabi mo sarili mo, because of me. Because of me. Sometimes nakakalimutan na ang Panginoon, yung way ng Panginoon, the reason why we're able to achieve that, the reason why we're able to, 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 to hit that because of God's way. That's permitted us to meet that. Sometimes nakakalimutan natin, nakakalimutan natin na kaya pala nangyari ito because ito yung plano ng Panginoon para sa ito. That's why it's very important for us to remember yung lahat ng ginagawa ng Panginoon sa buhay po natin. That everything that happens in our life because of God. Everything, your achievement. And without God, listen to this, without God, we can do nothing. Of course, you have a knowledge, you have a wisdom, you have a strength, but your wisdom, your knowledge, and your strength are limited. At kapag dumating sa punto na, na tayo po ay bagsak na, 
Yan ni Maria na isang tinig ka. Oh, I thank God, but I thank the Lord for our nations because our presidents now asking for our prayers. And even the, in, the, in Italy and even President Trump in USA. They're asking for a prayer. And they we, we have a prayer month. We have a prayer week, prayer Sunday to pray for all the people who are infected or affected by this pandemic. You know, kahit wala naman yung pandemic, we need to pray to the Lord. Kaya nga sabi ng Bible, pray without ceasing. Manalangin tayo ng walang patid. Walang hinto. Manalangin tayo and let us always delight ourselves in the Lord. You know, marami tayong ninanay sa Panginoon, you're desiring of this, desiring of that, but the Bible is very clear, ang sabi ng verse 4, delight yourselves unto the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. You know, every time I desire to hit my target when I was a salesman, I'm always asking to the Lord, before I start going go to my to my job, I'm asking to the Lord and pray to the Lord, Lord, not by my nor by power, but by the Spirit, say the Lord. That's why I acknowledge you that today, I'm able to hit, I'm able to achieve my target for this day. Day-to-day -day basis, I pray to the Lord. Why? Because God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. You know, I guarantee you, if you abide and confine to the way of God, Definitely, I assure you, He will give you the desires of your heart. He will give you the desires of your heart. And tonight, I'll give you three things for you to, to, for us to be able to understand how can we get the way or God's way into our lives. I'll give you three points, three things for us to be able to know and how to have a best way from the Lord. Number one, for us to be able to have God's way in our lives, let us see the word relinquishment. Relinquishment. The relinquishment. What is relinquishment? Sabi rito, the word relinquishment, wala, for a while. Okay. The word relinquishment means to give power or control to another person or group. It means, for the layman terms, is to give up or to surrender. Ang sabi po ng Bible, in verse 5, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Ang sabi sa Tagalog, ibigay mo ang iyong kaparaanan sa Panginoon. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Ibigay mo sa Panginoon ang iyong lakad. Ibigay mo sa Panginoon. Ipagkatiwala mo sa Panginoon ang iyong lakad sa Panginoon. We will see here the very word of King David ang sabi niya, if we able to become victorious, for us to become a good person, to become a good, have a good life, let us commit our way unto the Lord. But you know, the problem is some Christians insist on clinging to their own ways. Marami po sa ating mga Kristiyano, we are pushing ourselves, insisting ourselves, and clinging ourselves to our own ways. Sa sarili natin gusto, sa sarili natin kaparaanan. And sabi nga ng Bible, commit thy way unto the Lord. Every day in our lives, let us commit our ways, your ways, my ways unto the Lord. The reason why we are not able to overcome our problems, the reason why we are not experiencing victory in our lives, because we are clinging to our own ways. That's why we have a lack of spiritual victory. That's why we are always afraid and fear, even in this situation in our lives. Oh, nakatakot because our enemy cannot be seen. But remember this. Even though our enemies cannot be seen, we have a big God who is able to overcome that, even death, even sins, even this world. When He rose again after three days from the dead, He proved to this world that He is able to overrule death. Now listen to this. You are feared and, 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 
and and uh, frightened because any time, any moment, you will be infected or affected by coronavirus. You are feared because you are have no enough money to sustain your needs. You are feared or you have anxiety because you don't have any words to work. Pero lahat ng bagay na yan, kung ikaw Christian or if you are Christian, accepting the salvation from God and accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, listen to this, when you say, when you accept Christ as a Lord and Savior, it means you are saved and Lord, even if you say, Lord, God is the one who provides for you because He is the one who overruled you. Because you are under His authority. That's why kapag sinabi mo, Lord, you have to abide to the Lord. You have to commit yourself. Let's commit our way to the Lord. For us to become victorious. Why? Because we have a victorious God. That's why we need to commit ourselves. Let us give up our own pride, our own ego. The reason why we are so much afraid in everything, hindi ka lang mabigyan ng ayuda, you are takot ka ng magutom. Listen to this, no one, wala na mamatay sa gutom. Hanggang may tubig ka sa bahay. Do not be afraid. God is a good God. He provides. You know, sabi dito, if we are to enjoy God's best, para daw ma-enjoy natin yung, yung best ng Panginoon for us, we must yield our way, listen to this, for us to become, for us to be able to enjoy God's best, for us to be able to enjoy God's promise, God's will, God's everything, God's blessings. Ang sabi dito, we must yield your way, my way, our will, our work, our walk to Him. Ilagat natin sa Panginoon. Let us yield. Kumiling tayo sa Panginoon. Let us yield our way. Yung kapalaanan mo, just trust in the Lord. Yung meron kang kapalanan mo, okay, do it. But the end of the day, kapag hindi mo na medyo nais mo, confine to the Lord, commit to the Lord. Believe me, God will never leave you, nor forsake you. Even your will, overcome your volition. Of course, God gave us a volition, but of course, yung will pa rin ng Panginoon. That's why if you're under the geographical will of God, you are in the same position. Kaya I'm always challenging all the young people. Do not look on the physical appearance, but rather look to the will of God. Yung physical appearance, nawawala po yan. Do not find a Christian, but rather find a godly Christian, a godly man. We must yield our work, lahat ng ginagawa mo, lahat ng mga hinahawakan ng kamay mo, lahat ng iniisip mo, lahat ng trabaho mo, lahat ng sa, nasa worldly company ka man, nasa worldly company ka man, you are working in the worldly, in the secular, just give it to the Lord. You must yield to the, to the Lord your work and even your walk. Yield your work, your walk in lagad mo. When you say that you are Christians, when you're talking, like a Christian, lahat na sinasabi mo, walk your talk. In everything, give glory our God. Whatever you do, even you eat or drink, just give it glory to the Lord. We are to, we need to enjoy, for us to be able to enjoy God's best in our life, let us surrender our lives unto Him. We must yield our way to the Lord. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 2, verse 6, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus as the Lord. Kapag tinanggap mo ang Panginoon, sinasabi mo, tinanggap mo ang Panginoon sa iyong buhay, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, by your mouth and by your heart and by your mind, ang sabi ng Bible ng Apostle Paul, So walk ye in Him. You said that you are Christians? You're saying that you are Faithful Christians, 
At dumating yung problema na ito, tagutong, tagirap. Ang sabi ng Bible, even tribulation, even perils, even nakedness, you are able to overcome this. Do not be afraid. If you believe and accept the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of your life, so walk ye in Him. Huwag kang matakot. Si King David din, yung natakot sa laki ni Goliath. Why? Because he has a big God compared to the big giant, to the giant Goliath. The Bible is very clear. So walk in Him. Dumagad tayo sa Panginoon. To walk in God's way and please Him, ibig sabihin na ito means we must totally commit our time we must commit, commit our talent and even our treasure. Let us commit this to Him. Kapatid, gusto mong ma, 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 lumakad sa Panginoon? Kung gusto mong pagkatiwalaan ng Panginoon and to please God, whatever you do, wherever you are, whatever possession do you have in your life, commit totally to God. We are just only a caretaker of this time. We are just only a caretaker of this talent. And even treasure that you have and I have, we just only a caretaker of this. And the Bible says, we must be a good caretaker of this. That's why if you and I are caretaker of this, let us totally commit all of this to Him. Totally surrendered to God. Do not make angkin-angkin. We are just only manager of this. Let us do, be a good steward of this. How can we become a good steward if you're saying, it is mine, it is mine, it is mine. No, that is not yours. That is come from the Lord. Remember this, even though you will receive in a cheap Every, everything in this world it is nothing kapag ikaw ay namatay na if you are died die already you will leave all your time you will leave all your talent and even your treasure that's why for you to be able to walk in God's way and please Him listen to this we must totally commit everything to the Lord Amen? Relinquishment. To give up and to surrender to the Lord. Why? Ang Panginoon po ang magmumultiply po niyan sa atin. Ang just po yung magmumultiply po sa atin. If you are a good steward, God will double your number. If you are a good steward, good manager of everything, you are a good manager of your time, you are a good manager of your talents, and you are a good manager of your treasures, believe it to me, if you are totally committed to the Lord, ang sabi ng Panginoon shall be added unto you if you seek God first. Matthew chapter 6 verse 32. Alam niyo kapatid, if you and I become relinquished or totally submitted and surrendered to the Lord, Dapat lagi po tayong handa. We should be ready to assist the needy and homeless. Do not say, tomorrow na lang, I will help you. No! If you have a chance to help people, right now, help the people who are longing and asking for help. And comfort the lonely, the bereaved family. And the most important things, if you are totally surrendered and committed to the Lord, Listen to this. Let us share Christ with others. How can we share Christ if we are totally surrendered to Him? And sabi ng Bible is command, commandment. The two reasons why we are here existing in this world. First, after God's sake, first, we need to glorify God in our lives. Everything in our lives, we must glorify God in our life. And secondly, we must to fulfill the great commission that God has given to us in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20, to go and teach all nations. How can you and I glorify God and 
uh, fulfill the Great Commission if you and I are not totally committed and not totally surrendered and not totally relinquish our lives to the Lord. We were not able to assist the needy. We were not able to assist the homeless, even to comfort, bereave, and lonely, even to share Christ with others. Listen to this. It is not, it is not possible for you and to me to do this if we are totally committed and surrendered to the Lord. That's why the Bible encourages us, commit thy way unto the Lord. And that is the best way for us to be blessed. The best way for us to be blessed, sabi ng Biblia in Matthew chapter 6, 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. How can you seek God first in your life, His kingdom and His righteousness, Kung unahin mo ay kaya nobela. Kung unahin mo ay yung paglalaba. Kung unahin mo na araw ng panambahan ay panonood at pagbumoling. Ang sabi ng Bible, God is a jealous God and he wants to be prioritized first. For you to be able, for you and I to be able to be blessed by God, ang liwaliwanag ng sinasabi ng Panginoon, ang Bible says in Matthew 6.33, But seek ye first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all, you have your time, and all, you have a good family, and all, you have a good work, and all, you have a good treasure, shall add unto you. Lahat ng meron ka. Lahat na meron kang bagay na meron possession sa buhay mo, God will add it unto you if you seek God first in your life. Pero ang sabi ng Bible, delight yourself into the Lord. Delight yourself into the Lord. Kung nagpapakaligaya ka, kung nagpapakaligaya ka sa Panginoon, yung lahat na meron ka, talent, time, and treasures, ibibigay yan ng Panginoon. God is a generous God. That's why let us commit thy way unto the Lord. Your way, my way, let us commit unto the Lord. Relinquishment. Relinquishment. Always remember the first R. The second R for us to be remembered, as sabi rito, the reliance. The reliance. God's way, listen to this, sabi rito, God's way, or God's way is best if we rely to the Lord. And sabi rito, what is reliance? Reliance means is the act of relying. Or let us say, total dependency. Total dependency. Kaya sabi ng Bible sa verse 5, Trust also in Him. Not only to commit thy way, sabi nito, not only to commit thy way unto the Lord, but secondly, let us also trust in Him. Magtiwala tayo sa Kanya. Magtiwala tayo sa Panginoon. Pagtiwalaan natin ang Panginoon sa lahat ng kanyang ginagawa at kayang gawin sa buhay mo at sa buhay ko. That God is in control. Kahit natamaan ka ng COVID-19 na yan, kung win ng Panginoon ay mahabain ang buhay mo, gagawin ng Diyos yan. Kahit na hindi ka mabigyan ng unang ayuda, pangalawang ayuda, pangatlong ayuda, kahit hindi ka mabigyan ng limang libo, walong libo, kung isusustain ng Diyos ang pangangailangan mo, God will make a way. Remember, God is a Jehovah Jireh, our great provider. If we trust in the Lord, I believe me, sabi ng Bible, He will bless you. Trust also in Him. But you know, ang problema kasi natin, Christians often fail to trust in the Lord as they should. They are often fail to trust in the Lord. Bumabagsak sila. Madalas sila bumabagsak na magtiwala sa Panginoon. Na minsan pinagtatiwalaan pa nila yung bumbay. Na imisa manalangin sa Lord, we don't have the stakes, but Lord, please help me. Kailan ka dinutong ng Panginoon? Kailan nagpagkula ang Diyos para sa iyo? Kailan ginutom ng Diyos? Sabi niya ni King David, at my young age, even at my old age, God never allowed me to beg even the bread. And remember the life of Prophet, I mean, Prophet Elijah, God provided for him in food. 
And the people of Israel in the wilderness, God provided for them a food for 40 years. Day and night, God provided for them. Kaya ang isang problema, nagre-relay pa rin tayo sa sarili nating pag-iisip. Sa sarili nating kagustuhan. Sa sarili pa rin nating pagnanais. We are rely on our own strength. Relying to our own strength. And that's why we experience failures. Some Christians depend too much on the things na nakikita nila. Example, we are in the hospital, you are too much believed in the doctors. When you are in the courts, you are too much believed to, the, to your lawyers. And even your friends depend too much on them. No, hindi naman natin din disregard yung kanilang kagalingan. We are not disregarding the, the, the knowledge and the, and, the, and the strength of the doctors and the lawyers and even our friends. But listen to this. We should be thankful for the help of others, but our ultimate trust must be in God. Ang ating pong ultimate na pagtitiwala mo ay sa Panginoon. Of course, God will provide. God will provide everything. Of course, our government will provide a food for us. God will provide some ayuda. God will provide something like this. Yung pangako ng mga doktor, gagaling ka na. I remember one story in a one wellness. Sabi ng isang nakausap ko, Pastor, will you please pray for my father? Why? Because he almost dying and almost giving up himself because of his, he's now in a terminal situation because of his illness. What happened to him? Sabi niya, the doctor told us in Mindanao that he is almost dying. The doctors give them a four weeks and after that, he's gonna die. You know, and the doctor told him, told me, sabi niya, okay, before your father gonna die, I'll give you some of his uh, prescribed medicine. When he saw, and the doctor gave to him, gives him, gives him a, a prescribed medicine, he almost dying because he found out that the amount of the medicines is almost a million. You, you said my father going to die after four weeks and you give me a almost million of peso of this prescribed medicine. Oh! I put my trust in you that you will heal my father. Sometimes our confidence for them. Or sometimes gumagaling naman pag may mga sakit. Of course, we should be thankful for them, for their help. But listen to this. Our ultimate trust, ang pinaka talagang pagtitiwala natin, must be in God. Must be in God. We should trust in the Lord. We should trust in the Lord. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Listen to this. King David said, we need to trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Not half of our heart, not one-fourth of our heart, not three-fourths of our heart, but all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. You know, bank accounts may fail, money markets may fail, possessions may fail, but listen to this, Jesus never fails. Ang Panginoon po kailanman hindi in Psalms 37, 40, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. This is the way of God. In the times of trouble, in times like this, listen to this, in times like this, a pandemic issue of this world, the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in Him. You know what is the reason why the Lord shall help them? The reason why the Lord delivered them and why the Lord uh, delivered them from the wicked and saved them? Because you and I believe and trust the Lord. That is the key word. Trust in Him. When you trust the Lord, when you put your trust in the Lord, believe me, God will help us. The Bible says in Psalm 46, The Lord is my help and my refuge. He is the strength. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. He is the very help in times of trouble. I don't know your situation, my friend. 
I don't know what is your situation right now. But one thing I'm sure, if you're experiencing some problems, struggles in your heart, the promise of God will never fail. When He promised to you that He is your strength, your refuge, and a very healthy time of trouble, that is true. That is true. He never fails. That's why we need to rely on the Lord. Trust also in Him. Trust also in Him. We need to rely. We need to give up everything in our lives. We need totally dependency to God. We need totally surrendering to the Lord. And if you do that, totally delivered, you're totally relinquished, you relinquish to the Lord, you trust and rely to the Lord, listen to this, there is a reward. Meron po reward. The reward, the third arm. And the last point, the reward. The Bible says, as Abirito, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring it to pass. There is a promise of reward. There is a promise of gift. There is a promise of a uh, price for you and for me. If you put your trust in the Lord, if you commit your life to the Lord, there is a reward and He shall bring it to pass. As Rito, God rewards those who are totally committed to Him. Who trust Him implicitly. Na kahit hindi niya alam na pwedeng mangyari ito, kahit hindi nakikita ng sino man tao, o ano ba pakiramdam natin, if you trust the Lord, totally committed yourself to Him, you and I will be rewarded by God. Amen? The Bible says in Psalms 37 verse 6, And He shall bring forth their righteousness as the light, and their judgment as the noonday. Sa ibang version ng NIB, sabi rito, He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, and justice of your cause like the noonday sun. Ang pangako ng Panginoon, ikaw ay magiging liwanag. Ang iyong katuwiran, ang iyong katuwiran ay magiging liwanag. Your righteousness become as the light of the sun. And you will be a judgment. You will be a judge. The justice of your cause, like the noonday sun. This is the promise of God for you. He will reward those people who are totally committed to Him. And to trust Him implicitly. God rewards His children by enabling them, enabling them to be a blessing to others. Ang isang sa mga pangako ng Panginoon, ang presyo ng Panginoon, ang price ng Panginoon, you and I will give a sufficient strength. You and I, enabled by God, to become a blessing to others. Remember this, if you say if you say that you are Christians, but you are totally committed, and somebody looks at you, na gumagawa ka na hindi ayos ang gusto ng Panginoon, you will not become a blessing to other people. Do not be a Christian by mouth. Do not be a Christian by mouth. But in heart and in words. God rewards children by enabling them to be a blessing to others. That's why God's way is best. God's way is best. Kaya magita natin po dito. For us to be able to reach other people, for us to be able to become an influence and reach out to attract others to Christ, because you and I give the rewards by that and enable us to become a blessing to others. Kaya nga hindi ka nakaka-reach out. The reason why you're not able to reach out other people and giving them to the Lord, you're not reaching out others for Christ, because you and I not totally committed to the Lord, you and I not totally put a trust in the Lord. How can we say that we are Christians in these times and times like this, we are not putting our trust in the Lord, and we are crying and crying, saying, Oh Lord, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Stand up! Stand up! Encourage other people! Share the Lord Jesus Christ, that God is able to overcome this. And God's power is enough for you and I to prove in this world that this coronavirus pandemic is just a little thing in the sight of God. Our influence reaches out 
to attract others to Christ. Maybe because your family, the reason why maybe the family, your family not able to know Jesus Christ because hindi nakikita sa buhay mo that you have Christ in your life. Why not you to commit yourself and sabihin mo sa sarili mo, O oh, nga Lord, no? Kaya pala yung parents ko, yung kapatid ko, hindi na niwala na ako'y Kristiyano kasi hindi nakikita sa buhay ko yung totoong surrendered life. Even my will, even my volition. And listen to this. Kapag na Kristo ka, pinagdiwala mo sa Panginoon, God will enable you to become a blessing to others. At makikita yan, you become a light in the darkness. And we will see, and somebody will see your light, yung shine, yung alat ng buhay mo mula kay Kristo. That's why God's way is best. God's way is best. He not only rewards the faithful in this life, hindi ka lang pagpapalain ng Panginoon sa buhay mo ngayon na maganda ang iyong pamilya, na maganda ang iyong kalalagayan, na even you are experiencing problems, na even you are experiencing trials, even you experience pain in your life, you are enjoying because God will never leave you nor forsake you. But also God reward us in the next life eternally. Hindi lang dito sa physical na katawan natin tayo po ay pinagpapala at ibigyan ng Christ ng Panginoon. Hindi lang ngayon na pipinjoy natin yung masagana buhay because we are committing ourselves to the Lord. Hindi lang po tayo nag enjoy ng buhay natin because we are fully trust our God. Hindi lang na-enjoy natin. We are not only enjoying our, our situation today, even though there is a pandemic because God provides everything, God protects us in our lives today. But even in eternal life, God will reward us. The Bible says, as sabi ng Panginoon sa John chapter 14, verses 2 and 3, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. I just want to reiterate what the Bible says. And Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. And this is the promise of God of eternal promise, eternal reward that God, Jesus Christ, go and prepare a place for you and for me. At ang sabi niya, I will come again. I will come again and receive you and me. You and me unto Him. Sabi niya, I will come again and receive you unto myself. At ito pa ang maliti ang sabi niya, that where I am, there ye may be also. They will be, may be. They ye may be also. What a promise of God. What a promise of God. That He not only rewards the faithful in this life. He not only rewards the faithful in this life, but He rewards them also in the next life eternally. How can we get this? Let us commit ourselves unto the Lord and put our full trust to Him. And He shall bring it to pass. This is the best way I ever seen in my life. In God's way. I don't know your way right now. I don't know your situation right now. I don't know wherever, I don't know your, your position right now. But listen to this. Kung meron kang way na ginagawa ngayon sa buhay mo, if you're thinking that your way is the best way for you, listen to this. Much better ang way ng Panginoon. Much better ang way ng Diyos for you and for you. God's way is best. That's why we must learn and we need to learn how to commit ourselves to just how to relinquish other relinquish men. Let us learn how to commit and trust the Lord. Rely on His will. Commit on His will and rely 
Praise the Lord. And after you and I commit and trust the Lord, learn how to wait. Because in waiting, there's a reward. In waiting, there's a reward. That's why yung kami ginagawa ngayon ng home parenting, just wait. Yung ginagawa ang pag-apagal sa your family, just wait, there's a reward. And now, we will now I mean, enjoying the, the reward of Panginoon while you are staying at your home, you are enjoying your fellowship with your family. Na dati pag meron kayo kasyon na sinasabi, uh, Mom, I have a this, I have that, that. Okay, I'm busy, just ask your son. I just ask your, your ate, your kuya. But right now, because of your busy time, busyness, God gave you a perfect time for you to what? To have a personal and intimate fellowship. Dati, sobrang kayong pagbibisi sa fast food, sa mga quick food, and now you are learning how to cook. Namaya, kakain kami ng ginataan ni Nani Soli with twist. Dati, lagi yung pag mga weekends, lagi nagpupunta ng mall, but now you have a lot of time to enjoy. Waiting is very important for Christians. Until the Lord comes, sabi niya dito, I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. And the Bible says, just wait, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Eh kapag ilumabas ka, sabi ng ating government, stay at home. Stay at home. You need to follow and abide the will of our government because the government gave a wisdom of the Lord. That's why God's best, God's way is best. We need to learn how to commit. A total surrendered life to the Lord. And let us learn how to trust. A total dependency. Total relying to the will of God. And learn how to wait for His promise. Listen to this. If you are in the geographical will of God, you are in the same place with the Lord. God's way is the best. That's why let us trust, let us commit, and learn how to wait for His blessings. I hope this message ay na-enjoy niyo po yung ating pag-aaral po ngayon. Kaya nga sabi ng Bible, commit thy way unto the Lord. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat, and God bless us all for the great words, great message of God for all of us. In times like this, learn how to seek the best way of God in your life. Learn to commit, learn to trust, and learn how to wait for His blessing. Let us close our eyes and bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank You for Your words. Thank You, Father God, for the greatness and kindness and Your promise upon us. Sometimes, Lord God, we are relying to our own way. Sorry, Lord. Sorry, Father God. I know this is not your will for our lives. This is not your will for our lives. Your will is to be blessed, your people. And how can we become, how, paano kami pagpapalain, how do how we become a blessed person, blessed Christians? We need to abide and confine to your own, to your, to, to your way. To your best way, Father God. And committing ourselves, totally surrender, totally give up to your will is the first step. We need to abide, we need to surrender our lives unto you. Whatever stronghold that we have in our lives, Whatever career, whatever situation and position that we have in our lives, we must surrender it to you. Why? Because we are just only a manager of this. And we need to become a good steward for all these blessings. Even this very life of ours. Even this life. Hindi namin itong pagmamayari, Panginoon. This is yours. That's why, Father God, we commit to you even our lives. We commit to you our lives. This is yours, Father God. We are just only a steward of this life. And we need to take care of this by committing ourselves once again to you. 
And you said, trust in you, Father God. Trust in you is a very important thing. It's easy for us to say, I trust you, but in action, sometimes it's hard for us. Let's say, Father God, tonight, once again, we pray, Father God, a total dependency upon you. Total relying on your will. I give up, we give up our volition, our own will. Help us, Father God, to become totally dependent, totally relying to you, Father God. Sometimes, ang hirap, Panginoon. Mahirap to, Panginoon. Mahirap yung unahin ka sa kabila ng busy time namin. But, Father God, thank you once again for reminding us a total dependency is very important for us as a Christian. We will enjoy this world. We will enjoy all the blessings. We will enjoy everything in this world. It will be totally dependent on you. If our faith, our lives, totally surrendered and giving up to you, Father God, the one who controls our lives, the one who controls our lives. And thank you for your promise. Thank you, Father God, for your promise, the rewards, the blessings, the price. Though we are not after that, because the total ministry that we need to perform is to give you glory in our lives. To give you glory and honor in our lives. And second, to fulfill the great commission that you entrusted to us. To go and teach all nations and baptizing them in the faith of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And teach them to observe whatever you commanded to us. And your promise that you will never leave us or God. You never leave us. Father God, thank you so much for that. Thank you, Lord God. Hanggang sa eternal life, you promised us, not only in this life, present, but even in eternal life for our future. Thank you, Father God, our great gift, our great God, who overruled the death, the world, and the saints. To prove in this world that we have a living true God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for the guidance. And thank you for the evidence of love. And thank you for the promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us, even in times like this. Even in times like this. In time of fear, in times of anxiety, in times of this pandemic, I know and we know that you will never leave us nor forsake us. You are our strength, our refuge, and our very help in times of trouble. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. And I thank God for His promise. Let us all stand up. Lahat po na sa bahay po. Tayo po ay... Salamat po for joining us tonight and today for some some brethren there in McAllen, Texas, USA, in Colorado, in Cyprus, in Australia, in Canada, and, and Japan, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, and to the uppermost place. Hanggang sa abot po, dyan sa Quezon City, sa iba't ibang lugar ng Pilipinas, Bogavite, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And I know that we are able to learn how to commit, how to trust, and how to wait. For us to be able to commit ourselves, let us relinquish let us always remember the word relinquishment. A total surrender, total give up to the Lord. Let us remember the second R which is reliance. A total relying or total dependency to the Lord. And the third R is reward. That if we did, if we do all these things that, that God commanded to us, to trust and obey Him, we will be able to receive a reward. The Lord, not only in this present time, but even in the future in heaven. He promised to us that He would give us reward. Let us sing a song, Trust and Obey. Let us sing a song. I know this is a very familiar song for you, but let us sing this song, Trust and Obey.
Amin pinapalalamin at pagiging pag-iingat mo sa amin for my pastor, Pastor Ramiro Adonay, Nanay, California USA, my brother, the Bernabal of Faith Baptist Church, in Marugingka, in Inaikabite, all of them, my my brethren in MIBC, Marugundon, and my brethren in MBC, Maranata Baptist Church, California, uh, Texas, USA, Pastor Garber, and brethren, and all our pastors here in, in Philippines and missionaries around the world, may you bless us, Father God. Or, please, cover it as far as God of the first time. Help us, Father God, to overcome this pandemic in Jesus' name. Please heal, baby Nathan, Comfort them, Father God, especially as well, all of us. All of us, Father God, who prayed and learned from your words, that may be able to learn how to trust, commit, and wait for your will. Father God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Maraming salamat po. Good evening to all of you. And good morning to Texas, USA, and Colorado, America. And of course, all our brethren in the broad kingdom, Saudi Arabia, and Elsie, Yadani, and Marie, Maricar, and si Lilette, dyan sa Danam. Ilani sa Damam. At Ilani sa Japan. Gaya sa Hong Kong. And ang aking kapatid sa Cyprus. Sa Taiwan, si Usel. Si Nia sa Barco. Sino pa ba na sa ibang bansa? Sila at si Michelle, ang Lipico sa Cyprus. Jusila, sila si Sir Liz and Brother Bernard. Bakir family sa Canada, Australia, Italy. And of course, all our brethren abroad, Castillo, si Lisa Castillo from and Belisa, Spain, and si Ati, Kati, Tati Chaseta sa Colorado, good evening sa inyo Of course, Pastor Laura Miller and NBC brethren, good evening sa inyo good morning sa inyo lahat. And Pastor Adonna, Pastor Miss Youth in Carolina, in California. Sino pa lang online? Online na pa? At, uh, I thank God for, for, for the lives of our brethren. And of course, maraming maraming salamat sa mga kaibigan po namin na 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 nag-tune in po, nanonood po ang Castillo family, sila Kuyani, sila Tati Segundo, thank you so much. Bakir family, dyan sa Marugundo, dyan sa na, dyan sa na, sa Mutilupa, kaya Patrick and the family Bakirs. So, salamat po sa inyo, Sherwin Baguio, Baguio to your Godness, Inario, thank you so much. Wow, many hearts for Pastor Darren Miller. Salamat po, Maranatha Baptist Church, Mag-Anag, Texas, brethren, for watching us tonight. And of course, sa lahat po ng mga kapatiran, maraming, 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 maraming salamat sa iyo. And also, I greet all my uh, siblings, yan po sa uh, Lancaster, uh, Gerald Trias, uh, Park Team, Gerald Trias, and of course, mga kapatiran niya, TLC, uh, ang tansa, lumang, ang lumang, ano, lumang, Tansang Luma, Christian Church, maraming maraming salamat. Ati Ana, Dikano, thank you so much for watching us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to greet all the families, the Nario Baptist families, and the Lord Poyon, the Levanta families. Si Charisley, Tando Dali, at ang kanyang nanay, birthday ka hapa, I'd like to greet, happy birthday, happy birthday po sa inyo. And si Rosemary, Adilus, ah, Adilus Bakir, sawa ni Kuya, ni Kuya Yuji Bakir, and the family Bakirs, Bakirs family, salamat, salamat sa pamilya niya. At si Maricard Nihano, thank you so much for watching and joining us tonight. And thank you so much, thank you so much. And God bless us all, and of course, lahat ng mga kapitiran, lahat ng family sa Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Ingat po kayo sa Kingdom Saudi Arabia, sa mga taga Cyprus, thank you so much. Uh, si Sir Irene Sarmento Bagonia, ingat ka dyan sa ano, si, si Julius, ingat ka rin dyan in everything. Ingat po lahat, Hernandez family, uh, Sancho family, Herdes family, Amparado family, Dilapos family, Alpizor family, uh, sino mga family? Ayala family, Nanay Jenny, family, the Gimi family, Alibado family, uh, si Ati Pat, Ati Pat, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Ati Donato, si Ati Aye, 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 si Ati Ellen, Ati Aye, si Ati Ellen, ang uh, uh, Alfred, si Alfred, ay Alfred, at uh, si, si James, si Hazel, hi Hazel and family, thank you so much. 
And Curtis Ponte, si Jan Jan, thank you for watching. God bless din sa'yo, Jan Jan. Nanis na kita. I need you to cut my hair. And you come back here from the bow, straight from the bow. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, sino bang family natin na banggit? Si, uh, ang parado family, ano banggit na natin yan? Hernandez family, of course. Si Ati Man, si Lodia's family. Castro family, Inario family, Bagnes family. Si Albert, Albert family. Perese. Si, uh, sino ba ba? Palomero family. Palomero family. And of course, marami marami sa na... Si Sean Kennard is watching. Thank you, Brother Sean, for watching us. At uh, si Kuya Manny, there's our family. At, at sa dyan sa Gerald Trias, praying for you. Rebogat family, San Antaster, Rochelle, Huertas family, and Sanchez family. Si Mami dyan sa America. Hi to you, Mami. Okay, Marcus family. Marcus family, para sa amin, your family. Of course, Marcus family. Thank you for the Victoria family, the Rosario family, the Morata family. Uh, see? Of course, we're going to take Pastor Adona. Pastor Adona and family. Thank you so much, MIPC family. Okay, so, uh, Ma'am Cress, Ma'am Cress, thank you so much. And of course, Good night. Marami salamat po sa inyo. Have a nice rest tonight. Sweet dream and God bless us all. As our daughter Miller and the Miller's family. Hi. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching us. Marami marami salamat po sa inyo. And God bless us all. Salamat din. John John for watching us. Lahat ng mga kaibigan namin yan sa Barangay Tatlod, Kansas City, take care of yourself. Diyan sa Banahaw, sa Cubao. All my friends, Ermin po ng bayan. Thank you so much. And of course, Praying for all uh, frontliners. Happy birthday kay Chona Mangrobang Responso. Responso Mangrobang. Happy birthday kay Elizabeth Buenafe. Happy birthday kay Cheche Pontillas. Happy birthday then. April. April po siya. And of course kay Edwards de Duque. Edward de Duque, happy birthday. Pastor Sonny Guerrero and Gethsemane Baptist Church and his family. Good evening sa inyo po lahat. Pastor Reggie Monterreen, I love you po yan. Pastor Eric Yes, so member for the MBC Maranatha Baptist Church, all the brethren, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for watching. I know and I hope that you're blessed from, from the Word of God, from the message tonight. And God's way is best. That's why we need to relinquish, we need to rely, and we need to wait for the rewards. So thank you so much. God bless us all. Marami marami salamat. Continue to pray for one another. Please continue to pray for our nations. Continue for our president. For all the people who are affected by coronavirus, all of them, to the family who are agonizing and uh, experience pain from, from the death of their families, let's continue to pray for them. And of course, let us continue the main thing. Okay? Maintain the main things. So what? Encourage people from the Word of God, share the gospel to them about their salvation, and listen to this. Let us do our part. Let us do our part. Let us uh, do our part. Glorify the Lord, our Jesus Christ, our Lord, our life, in our lives, and do our part to fulfill the great commission that God has given to us, to go and preach all nations. Okay, and to the other books. God bless us all. Good night. And, and, listen to this. Mamaya po, this uh, 11 o'clock in the evening, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, 7 a.m., 7 a.m. tomorrow, let this Thursday morning be our devotion time by listening and joining and watching the midweek service of Maranatha Baptist Church like Allen, Texas, USA under the leadership of Pastor Darren Miller. I encourage you, brethren, the Maranatha Faith Baptist Church to join us tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in Texas time. 6 p.m. At uh, 6 p.m. and here, 7 o'clock, 6 p.m. in Texas time and 7 a.m. in Philippine time, Philippine time, let us join and watch and be a part of the midweek service of Maranatha Baptist Church in Texas, USA. I encourage you, you want to be blessed, you want to be strengthened, seek God first. Listening, a pure gospel, a pure word of God, a strong, pure word of God, 
by listening from the Baptist Church, I mean listening from the Word of God through preaching of the Baptist Church people. God, so Baptist Church. So, uh, tomorrow morning, let us watch, enjoy watching Maranatha Baptist Church meeting service in McAllen, Texas, USA. Hi, Pastor Dora Miller. Hi, Pastor Arnold Adona. I miss you, Pastor Adona. Come, 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 come. Take care of yourself, Pastor Tai. Patay. And Pastor Dad, Pastor Dora Miller, and Mom and Aunt, and Mom, Mom Anita. God bless us all. And all the brethren at BC. Am I BC, Marugundan? I love you. Tab, dear BC. Mission, I love you so much. God bless us all. Thank you so much. And God bless. Good night. And God bless. Bye-bye.